So hello everyone and welcome to Strange Games with me, Abby. Now today we are going to be playing MC Kids or if you live in uh, Europe, McDonald Land. Now if you don't know uh, what McDonald Land slash MC Kids were, the name McDonald Land will probably give you a clue. Yes, it was a game made for McDonald's to promote uh, McDonald's. Yes, it was basically one big interactive advert and people actually bought this game. Uh, it was released in 1992 uh, for NES and Game Boy. I haven't got a Game Boy version yet, uh, but uh, I might might do it one day. Uh, I'm just going to play the NES version today and uh, we should probably see what it's like. I suspect it's going to be absolutely terrible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up uh, my NES folder. I'm going to go down click mckids.nes and let's start playing the game, shall we? Okay. Ocean. Ocean presents. Okay, I've got to admit the intro is quite good. MC Kids. Lovely. Okay. Hmm. How do I press? Do I just press start or do I have to press something? Is it just not? Hang on a second. Is it not like me skip this intro? Choose one or two players. Oh, right, so I guess I can uh, now start the game. So I'll choose um, one player because I'm sat here alone in my room. Okay, campsite. Frog. Okay, hello, Mr. Frog. Go on, hop across. Two boys uh, in a tent reading a book. Because that's exactly what boys do in tents, isn't it? Read a book. Ronald was showing off his magic bag at a picnic in the meadow when all of a sudden... Oh my god. <laughs> help! Help! The hand lurker has run off of my magic bag! Please help it get it back! Help us get it back, I guess. I gotta admit, that actually is quite creepy. It's just the way he's bent down to talk to that kid. It, it feels slightly creepy, but mind you, the 1990s was an innocent time back then. Search the levels of my clubhouse and, it, and, and retrieve at least four of, the, four of my puzzle cards. Okay, so a little boy has to go into Ronald McDonald's quote-unquote clubhouse and retrieve at least four of his puzzle cards. Alright. If you come back to my house with four cards, I will show you how to get it, how to get to Birdie's house. Okay, so that's fine. Let's see, Ronald's clubhouse. Let's press start. Okay. Hang on a second. Keep searching for my puzzle cards. I will show you how to get to Birdie's treehouse as you bring him at least four cards. All right, so you don't just click on the clubhouse start level. You have to sort of do that kind of Mario thing. There we go. Ronald's Clubhouse, level the garden. Cards needed four. Four lives and... How many oranges? Oh. I take it there's sort of like the thing where you like, like the coins in McDonald's land, I guess. Now what the hell do I do here? Um... Okay. Do I jump up here then? Whoa! Such... Such a brilliant jumping animation! Yes, I, I, I think this is the best jumping at Whoa! That is a really high jump thing. Okay, this is quite strange actually. Let's see, jump. Uh, do you get to crush a snail? I don't like crushing snails, or can, can, you, can you just avoid them? Right, so you only get four lives and you don't get any weapons to defend. You're like, whoa, hold on a second. <laughs> you can just like hover along just doing that. That's kind of cool. Alright then, um, I, I must admit, the game design is not good at, in this game, I have to admit, it's quite, uh, it's lacking, let's just say that, okay, let's walk along here, jump, jump, oh, can't go any higher, okay, that's fine, Wee! leap of faith, oh god, what the hell just happened, whoa, so you cannot, right, so I've just lost like, I've just lost three of my lives. Oh, and now I'm dead. All right, so my suspicions has been confirmed. Uh, you can't, uh, you can't defend yourself against these enemies. 
Uh, if you touch him, you'll die, even if you, like, I don't know, try your damnedest to, like, you know, kill them. So there's no way to defend yourself. You can just, um... You can just run away and avoid them. Alright, that's fine. That is wonderful game design, I must say. Now, what happens if I go along the bottom routes? Whoa. Actually, he's quite a fast walker. It, and the walk animation is a little bit meh. Okay, let's see. Whee! Alright, oh, wait a second. So if I walk all the way along the bottom edge, I avoid all the enemies. Yeah, that is that. That's... Yeah, that makes this game a big challenge, isn't it? Let's see. Oh, wait, what the fuck is that? Whoa, what the hell? Whoa, 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 stop right there. Okay. That was interesting. <laughs> Alright, so all I have to do is walk all the way along here. There's no enemies on the ground. They're only all no platform things and but if you want to get the M's I guess you have to go along the platform thing. So let's avoid this flower, this killer flower. I did not know flowers can kill people. Let's see. Uh looks like I'm gonna have to avoid this. Yay, I'm through! Oh wow! I got past the level. That was easy. That was easier than it had to be. Oh, there's the black kid. Hello black kid! Yep, randomly appearing on and off screen. Let's see. Let's go in here. Whoa! Beaver! Hello, Beaver! Oh, God! Fuck off! What the fuck, Beaver? Whoa, wait, hang on a second. Stop, stop a second. Let's stand here for a couple seconds. Wait for the Beaver to return. Oh! The Beaver's gone. Alright, that, that's okay. I just saw the Beaver just sort of, like, walk off the edge. And then just... In mid, in mid air, just like, what the hell is that? What the hell is that? So, one explain to me, what the hell is that supposed to be? It looks, it looks like something that you'd expect to see, you know, in Half Life Two. You know, one of the things that hang down from the ceiling and then suck you up. Okay. Hmm. Let's keep walking, boing. Oh, hello, Mr. Beaver. There you are. Hello. How do I get past you? Do I just jump over you? Yeah, I do! That's what I do! Hooray! Interesting. Oh, there we are. There's the weird things again. Don't know what those things are, actually. What are those things, anyway? They don't seem to do anything. They don't seem to try catch if you try... If you try... Go under them or anything like that. Oh, hello! What's this? It seems just to be an M. It doesn't seem to do anything. I can't. I can't seem to push it. What the hell am I supposed to do? Oh, wait, there we are! Oh my god, that's what you're supposed to do. I see. Alright, I see now. The M's are a card and you have to press the B button to collect them. Alright, now I see what you have to do. I am no longer confused. What the hell is. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Whee! Plonk. Alright, oh! Piranhas! Hello! Hello, Mr. Piranha! So I, I guess I have to jump on that and then use this to sort of go across whilst a piranha chases me. Okay. Jump! Whee! Yay! There's, there's the kid walking along. And there he is meeting up with the black kid again. Hello! Okay. Okay, so, um, quite interesting. Okay, let's go to level 3. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go back to level 1, see if there's any uh, cards that I missed, because you never know. Oh, I got an M! Hurrah! So I'll jump up here. I'm sure there's probably one up in the big rafter thing that I skipped because it was too hard to sort of go, you know, over like this with all the enemies. Boing! Boy, What the hell is this? What happened? What is that? I need to know. What the hell is that? Didn't seem to do anything. Alright. Oh, there's one of them. How am I supposed to get at it, though? Do I have to jump down here or something and then... How do I get at that? I mean, that is obviously a card. How on earth do you get at those M's on that roof? I'm gonna have to figure this out. Okay. Uh, let's see. I have to go on that platform. Go on that platform. Avoid the evil poison snail of doom. 
Okay. Jump up to that ledge. Jump over to that ledge. I don't know. Do you press... No, wait, Alan, what's this? What's that? Okay, so that... You stand... Okay, I now know that that is a card of some description. How are you supposed to get at that? I mean, what? Do you just jump up? Is there some sort of power up you need to collect or something like that? Or... I don't know! Whoa! Boing! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Avoid! 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 I have literally no idea what the hell I'm supposed to do! Whoa! Okay, I stepped on that and it just brings me down here. Fair enough. That was rather interesting. I thought, whoa, okay. Come on. What? The, how do I get this back up? Okay, there's nothing I can do to sort of get back on that ledge. And there seems to be this thing over there that I have to jump to. Do I have to restart the level or something? I'm not too sure. Uh, can I? Okay, I can pause it. Let me just uh, go back over here. I must say, I, I must say, I will not actually get tired of that. Oh, hello! Alright, so if I take this brick over here... Oh, hello! Oh, you can pick up those wee bricks! Oh, that makes much more sense! That makes much more sense! Now I can stand on there... And I can collect the uh, M's. I must, I, I must say, it's not obvious what you have to do in this game. But, I must admit, that's usually a thing with these old games. Now, can I pick this? Can I pick this block, pick this block up? Yes, I can. Can I jump up with it? Yes, I can. Hmm. If you just hold on, I might be able to use this to get up there. Oh, whoa, what the hell just happened? Oh, God! Oh, God, that was my weapon! That was the thing that I was supposed to be using for a weapon! That wasn't something that you just picked up to sort of... plonk down somewhere else so you can get high ledges or anything like No, that was my actual weapon! So, yes, there is a way to defend your health. You, you can throw these at your enemies. I wish I learned that earlier! Hmm. Now, let's see... Whoa, plonk. Whoa. I just did that. Whoa. So if I run, I could probably jump up there and get whatever the hell I need. That's quite, that's quite interesting. Hmm. Plonk. Whee! God, God's sake, how am I supposed to get that M? I mean, there has to be something that I can use. At least something. Wee plonk. Whoa, hold on. Hmm. Hmm. I... Whoa, I got a second. Whoa, 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 stop. You know, I, I just give up. I, I can't think of a way to get that M up there. I mean, sure, you could probably do it, but it... But I, I, but I'm, I'm a 23 year old of, you know, above average intelligence. I, I don't really see how a child, even a very determined one, could get up there and get that M, you know, that M block fair, which apparently is a card. Ah, oh, this is rather confusing. Mind you, I, I must admit, I, I often find that, uh, Games from the 1980s and, dare I say, the early 90s were actually slightly harder. Um, but, yeah, I think I'll just end the video here. Uh, what can I really say about this game? Um, yes, the game design is actually lacking. I mean, you just saw the walk animation. I'll, I'll just unpause it and just show you what I mean, okay? Here's the walk animation. Okay, pretty good, pretty basic walk animation. But watch this. There, see, I can sort of get my get my sort of player to glide slowly. He doesn't like start walking straight away. He just sort of starts gliding, and that's 
of shabby work. Also, it isn't, you know, obvious what you should do. You're not sort of learning through, you know, learning how to play the game through the gameplay itself. And that is a big part of uh, good game design. You learn how to play the game through the game itself. You don't have like little pop up saying, yeah, this is what you do to do this and this and that. But then again, you don't exactly get left on your own to figure everything out yourself in a way which you know, you wouldn't figure out anyway, you know, anywhere else. I mean, how exactly am I supposed to get that M up there? It's just totally impossible. Anyway, yeah. This has been Strange Games. My name has been Abby. Uh, in fact, it still is Abby. I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully I will see you soon. Good